Hey everybody, welcome to day 102 of my carnivore journey and welcome to my daily vlog, my diary of sorts, where I will let you know everything I experienced along my journey and I try to do it pretty quick, try not to have super long videos. So I'm, I like to share everything I ate each day, that way you know, because I know that's something you don't always get with a lot of other carnivore channels and I, and I want people to see a lot of carnivore channels. Um, it, it's important that we spread the word. So, but I try to at least give you certain information. And then, like I said, what I'm lacking on my channel, you need to go find in other channels, like, like actual in-depth recipes. You got some really good channels out there. And of course, um, like scientific information. Again, you got like other channels. I'm not going to start naming names, but, but guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. And, um, Anyways, just to get started, so taco, I had taco buffet, yes, a taco bar, uh, I haven't been there in like months, and man, let me tell you, <clears throat> I love tacos, <laughs> okay, so going there, I'm not going to say it was a weakness though, I actually, if we had to pick somewhere to eat out, I was actually glad we chose the taco bar because I could make me a plate that resembled much like what I eat at home. I was able to go up there and you, you know, so look here, let me show you a picture. I right, see that's what I'm saying. I got meat, uh, some cheese, some sour cream and shrimp. It's like all things. I mean, granted, you know, the shrimp was probably cooked in, Maybe a few things that might have been not that great. I mean, who knows if they had used any, any, you know, I'm not going to nitpick. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the thing. I went out to dinner with my family. We took the, 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 the 19 year old kid I was telling you guys about, we took him out to eat Four kids hardly ever ate out in his life, which may or may not be a bad thing. But anyways, we took him out. We all had a good time. You know, I, I didn't want to cause any scenes of like, you know, what is this made in? Like, what is this, you know, taco meat made in? What's in this? What's in that? You know, life's too short, right? Um, but I stayed within my lane. I had some taco meat, cheese. I mean, yeah, it was pre-shredded cheese. You know, I mean, again, life's not perfect. But we had fun. I still got to eat carnivore. And I went back up and got some extra shrimp. Because, I mean trip right <laughs> so um but I, I went away and like it's funny because everybody had like tortilla shells and and they had the salsa like the chips and salsa they had all that stuff so when we got home the, the ironic thing is everybody's like oh i'm so full and so stuffed and they were all like uncomfortable and i was just full i was full i had a lot of food like I ate that that plate you saw. I mean, it was a, it was a good sized portion. I probably had packed on a pound of meat there on my plate, but I had a lot of food. But I still wasn't bloated. I didn't have a bunch of uncomfortableness. I feel good. I feel like I can go for a walk. You know, what I mean, and um, and we just ate a little bit ago. So that's the point I want to try to make is when you eat foods that aren't as inflammatory as inflammatory as foods on carnivore and things like that you're gonna get done with dinner and you're gonna feel better you're not gonna always have that bloated uncomfortable guilt um so just i wanted to point that out <clears throat> um a couple things i want to get to uh i do have another quote for you guys an inspirational quote for the day uh, i want to keep that that um that that uh, I want to make that a thing for us. I think that'll be good in this in this next chapter. I think a little bit of inspiration to keep us going. I think that's always good. Um, and also, I want to address um, a comment from Lilani Dow. I don't know if I said your name right. I'm sorry. Lilani? Lelani? Anyways. But but it wasn't nothing bad. She um she just said uh, how much protein are you eating? It sounds like you aren't uh, even close to the two hundred grams, and you should probably be over that considering your current weight. Maybe add another jumbo burger, you know things like that. So um, the one thing I want to say is that 
I don't, and, and again, this is not like any insult. This is not any dig to anybody. In fact, if you are counting your um, protein and your like your macros and all your stuff, more power to you. I, I'm not going to knock that if that's what you want to do. But for me, I take a very na- uh, natural approach. I like to listen to my body and let my body determine when I'm full. So in other words, you know, I, I, I'm satisfied. Like I don't have much times where I'm like, man, I really need to force me down another jumbo burger because it would be forcing it down. Like when I get done, when I get done with that 17 ounces or 16 ounces of meat or whatever, whatever my body says, that's good for me, you know? But I'm not going to like worry about is that enough this or that. My body is going to let me know. There's some days when I will want to eat more meat. Some days when I want to eat less. And that to me, that's my body saying, hey, I'm, I'm good with those nutrients. Then some days when, I, when I'm just in that meat mood and I'm having, you know, like a couple eggs. I'm having a meat stick for lunch and I'm having, a, you know, a uh, pound of meat with some bacon, you know, on the side also, and some eggs. It's my body saying, hey, I want more nutrients right now. So I, t- so for me, and again, it's no, I'm not digging anybody else. I'm just saying for me, I listen to my body. And I had an episode where we t- kind of talked about that. Um, and so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way I'm doing things on that. Um, but I, again, I always ap- appreciate people looking out for me. Um, especially like in the comments, because, you know, Hey, I mean, I could be screwed up, you know, um, it's tough to navigate a lot of advice, but I do try to research and try to think about and look at it. So in this case, when I looked at her comment, I, I thought about, it. I was like, okay, well, you know, is, do, do I feel like I need to do anything more? Am I starving myself? Am I, am I kind of shorting myself on some things? Um, consciously and so I try to look at those comments um and you know a lot of comments are just you know encouragement and then I get some comments that'll be like hey you know be careful the supplements you're taking but then I also get people saying hey you need to take those supplements regular so you see where there's like these kind of conflict advice it's it's really tough, and then when you seek the, the the facts and medical stuff behind it, it's again you start getting conflicted information, because you can start dipping off into science that's based off of bad science, and then you can get into again where there's real world testimonials that people have felt good and this and that, but there's no maybe hardcore science behind it. So we get in some really weird areas when it comes to advice and things like that. So I just tell people, keep the advice coming. Don't be offended if I don't take it, but I do read it and some advice I do. I mean, I even started doing more iodine and things like that. I hope you're still hot, I can tell. So um, so there's that. I wanted to address that. Uh, also, when it comes to the quote of the day is what I wanted to get to. And this quote is is fairly simple. This is from Susie Cassum. Hey, look, if I don't know any some of these people, I'm sorry. But I don't. I may not. I may not even agree with these people in real life. But I'm just giving you quotes that I come across, and I like the quote. So this quote is: "Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will." So doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Okay. So I want you to think about that. I want you guys to think about that. So don't doubt yourself and dream, you know, go for it. But that's the other thing is like, you know, think about it. Like doubt kills more dreams. So a lot of people dream about these great things. And that's kind of why like, I'm doing some of the things I'm doing in life because I never wanted to sit there and say, well, you know, I, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. Like, I, I doubt I can, you know, I doubt I can ever f- produce a film. Well, now I'm starting to do those things. I'm starting to, I'm, I did some short films and then like I did, you know, I, I had a, a show and then I did it like, well, I, I had a show and then 
And I started doing like short films. And then now who knows? I mean, now I'm working on scripts for maybe larger films. So it's like, you can't always doubt yourself. You, you have to dream because again, failure. Yes, we fail. But if you don't ever try, there's more people that, that just dream. And then they're just like, nah, I doubt I can ever do that. There's more of that than people actually trying and failing. And failure is learning. See, there you go. There's another quote. I just said that. That's me, I guess. Maybe somebody else said it. Who knows? Failure is learning. <laughs> I'm sure there's another part to that, right? Um, trying again is success. I don't know. But um, but anyways, But there, there's your quote for today. So I hope maybe that helps inspire you today. Um, with anything but guys that's all I really had oh I guess I should finish up with what I said I I had oh I didn't have hard-boiled eggs for lunch I actually had two hot dogs I had two beef hot dogs I had to stop at the gas station today so I got the two all beef hot dogs and just had them with like a light thing of mustard I, I don't like to have too much mustard anyways but just a little bit and I ate them with no bun or anything so just two hot dogs um, water, like ice water, and uh, then the taco, the taco bar, the taco buffet. But it's there's also something liberating about going out to eat, having a good time, but like not breaking my carnivore rules for myself. It was so nice, so nice. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you all so so much for all the love and support. Seriously, you guys are amazing. I don't know if I. Could, if all of you up and left me, I really don't know if I could stay on this diet. I say that, but at the same time, I am getting to the point now where the diet is becoming so easy compared to. Like, it used to be more of a battle or more of a effort, but the more I do it and now getting into these, you know, working on getting on going on to four months soon, um, it's pretty pretty simple. In a way, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, we'll talk more about that, I'm sure, another time. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>